So today I'm talking about a Kia with the P0341 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. So what is a Kia P0341 code? Well, it's a camshaft position sensor, a circuit range performance. And what does this mean? Well, the onboard computer uses the camshaft position sensor to know the location of the camshaft as it spins. It uses this for timing and it's seen an error with this. So it have to be troubleshooted to know why. And some of the possible causes, well, it could be a bad cam sensor, it could be in the wiring and it could be a fuse. And so the first thing to do when you get this code is to go locate the camshaft position sensors and and on some Kias, there is just one, but very commonly there is two. And with this code saying it's sensor A, very likely there's going to be two. They'll be located up on the top of the engine right here. They're located right here. This is sensor A and this is sensor B. Sensor A will always be the exhaust cam sensor and sensor B will always be the intake sensor. So the first thing to do is to go locate this cam shaft position sensor A on your particular Kia. So once you locate it, the next thing to do is to check out this wiring harness because any bad wiring can cause the same symptoms as a bad sensor. So you wanna go check the wiring, be sure it's plugged in all the way good and that there's no open shorts or anything like this because any bad wiring can cause the same symptoms as a bad sensor. And if that all looks okay, most people would go ahead and just swap out the sensor at this point since it's a low cost part. I'll jump over on Amazon and just give you an idea what they look like and how much they're going for right now. They're ranging around 15, $20 or so, there's one for 11. So they're not high cost parts or anything like that. And swapping one of these out is fairly easy. They'll just have like a 10 millimeter bolt on the top and they'll have a little ring around it that makes them kind of hard to pull out sometimes. But once you get the bolt off, they'll just pop out. You take the connector off and pop the new one in. You put the connector on. They're really simple to swap out. But that would be the next thing to do is to go check out this camshaft position sensor A and either test it to see if it's good or replace it. And so if you do test it or replace it and you know it's good, but you're still getting this error code and it won't clear, then very likely there is a problem inside the wiring and what's going on with this wiring is most of them will have three wires going to it there can be two on older ones but most of them will be three wire and it's fairly simple you'll have a ground wire and then you'll have voltage coming from the battery when the key's in the on position and this could vary whatever it's rated for you'll have to get a wiring diagram for your particular key to know for sure what's going on with the wiring so always do that but one of the wires will be voltage coming from the battery. So when the key's in the on position, you'll be getting power. And then one will be reporting back to the onboard computer what's going on. And what happens with these sensors is that whenever a piece of metal is directly in front of it, it changes. So whenever a piece of metal is directly in front of it, it'll go from like 5 volts to 0 volts, 5 volts to 0 volts. And it knows the location of the cam sensor's teeth as it spins. It'll just be going 5 volts to 0 volts, depending if there's a piece of metal directly in front of it. But the next thing to do would be to go check out the wiring. And one thing to keep in mind with this wiring is that it'll be on a fuse. And this will be inside the engine compartment. Sometimes there could be fuses also up underneath the dashboard on some Kias. But usually it's inside the engine compartment. There's a fuse in there that'll be on this circuit. And so on like this right here on this Kia Forte, it'll be located right here and it'll be labeled SNSR3. And this is the sensor that's for that camshaft position sensor. And also keep in mind, there might be multiple ones in some cases. So like I said, you always want to get a wiring diagram for your particular Kia to know exactly what's going on with the wiring and the fuses. But be sure to check for blowing fuses since a blowing fuse will cause the whole circuit to not work. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a real quick brief overview of how you go about fixing a Kia with the P0341 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.